Good night, good night, good night. Good night. Yes. <laughs> um, it's day 69 of the 90 day poetry writing challenge. Oh, I'm very sleepy, you all. Tonight is a challenging night. I actually was sleeping. So please excuse the hair, excuse the face. But nevertheless, I am here to deliver on the 69 day of the 90 day poetry writing challenge. So today was a rainy day. Um, the latter part of the day was a rainy day. And um, if, I think most people like the rain, but not the part where it floods, uh, you know, that's the extreme part of it. But there's something about uh, a rainy day that uh, cause you to think of pleasant images of just staying inside and cuddling up and somehow sleep is uh, even better when the rain is falling but uh, unfortunately at the point in time when the rain was falling i was uh, waiting on my son to pick up my son from school in san fernando today and uh, um, i was just thinking about what to write because even then and there i had the pen and paper and i I was reading an article around the time my thoughts were of what to write, to, looking for inspiration. And I was reading an article where a writer said that people who enjoy the rain are happier in life. And uh, I just um, just want to try and show a little link between uh, trinis and uh, happiness uh, together with the rain. Okay? So... It may or may not be true, but I'm presenting the information and you determine, all right? So, so here goes. Earlier on this 90 day goal, day 11 to be exact, I wrote on the happiness of Trinis and its impact. To festivity and food, our happiness was connected, but today mm. I discovered to another it could be directed. I read an interesting article on the life hack site. People who enjoy the rain are happier in life, the author writes. Six months of rain, one of our two seasons, gives us another happiness reason. To enjoy the rain is like our second nature, since it is a regular feature. But let's explore the why. Why happiness as raindrops fall from the sky. To rain lovers, rain can be given a vivid, detailed description, causing in tuned senses and greater life appreciation. One happiness researcher puts forth the statement that people who love rain live in the moment. Loving the rain develops resilience when times are tough, as symbolically the rain represents the times that are rough. And after that period of rain is gone, a beautiful rainbow usually appears to urge us on. If from rain happiness can truly be derived, then we've got it for the rest of our lives. Yeah, because Trinidad and Tobago has two seasons, that the dry season and the wet season. The rainy season, the wet season is the rainy season, right? Uh, and even during the, the dry season, there is intermittent rain. So if rain definitely gives us some sort of happiness, um, we've got a good bit of it here. In yes, on a side note, as I was saying, while reading, I made this interesting word discovery. Pluviophile, that's a lover of rain or someone who finds joy and peace of mind during days that are rainy. That word is pluviophile. I learned that word today. It's spelled P-L-U-V-I-O-P-H-I-L-E. So if you want, you can look it up. I honestly learned that word today. A lover of rain. So my friends, thank you for joining in. 
yeah and that's a little bit on rain and how rain affects our mood and uh, for most people it's all about happiness yes it is a big word so and it's funny how you know learning takes place every day yeah i never knew that before so that has been day 69 of the 90 day poetry writing challenge i'll see you all tomorrow please god bye Good night, Alicia. <laughs>